Pearl coming out very aggressive, shoving Jillian Robertson into the fence. Pearl looking to come over the top. Jillian Robertson keeping her balance. Jillian's gonna go down, Pearl's gonna be on top. Robertson looking to sit up, trying to get control of the left, left leg, and she does. Robertson changes the, uh, changes the position. Robertson now on top, looks to be caught in a bit of a triangle. Cannot tell if her head is in there. No, it's not, it's just her arm. She is not caught in a triangle. Robertson pops out, she will have the advantage of side control. Jillian Robertson, member of the famed American top team in Florida. Pearl Gonzalez, 10th planet protege by way of Chicago, Illinois. Pearl uses the fence, able to create some space back to their feet. They're dead even here. Pearl pushing Jillian Robertson into the fence. It will always make you wonder, do, do people who do MMA have an advantage in this form of grappling because of the fence? And even if you're splitting hairs and the answer is yes but minute, it is still a yes. That fence or that wall is a piece of an apparatus that doesn't always exist. If you were to look at NCAA wrestling, for example, if you go out of bounds, you go out of bounds this apparatus will contain the athletes. If used properly, that fence becomes a tag team partner. If used improperly, it can become a two on one for your opponent. Pearl trying to step up the fence as a way of rotating the head position. Julian Robertson holding her down. Pearl is thinking, is thinking about trying to apply some pressure. There is a submission technique here for Pearl Gonzalez. Generally speaking, for this kind of a triangle, she would also need the arm involved. Right now, she's just making it very uncomfortable on Jillian's head, but not likely to submit her from here. Pearl has her coach and training partner Coming up later tonight, Richie Martinez. He will be locking it on with C.B. Dalloway. Pearl needs to change this position. One advancement at a time. Turn into Jillian. Pressure on the hips, start to shrimp, start to get to a half guard or to a full guard. Jillian Robertson happy to stay here in side control as she begins to put some pressure and try to manipulate the arm of Pearl Gonzalez. Pearl now to her hands and knees, Jillian Robertson trying to seize the back, get her bicep locked around, she does it. Jillian Robertson found herself in a position that Pearl Gonzalez created. Pearl Gonzalez is the one who went to her knees. Jillian Robertson able to seize on that moment, throw a hook in and secure a rear naked choke. Round and around they went. Pearl will still be able to get to the back to encourage and support the man who is on her t-shirt. That, of course, being Richie Martinez. Kevin Keeney, please make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission due to rear naked choke. At 4 minutes, 11 seconds of regulation, Jillian Robertson. 
a very good win by Jillian Robertson.